Right now I'm in the new city, but I'm on my way to the old city of Tallinn, Estonia, which is really spectacular and a greatly preserved medieval old city with an old city wall that runs around it. by some skyscrapers. And the Estonia Concert Hall. With these cool little baton hands to keep cars from coming in. Ah, uh, now we have arrived at Viru Gate, the main entrance to the old city. The old city is so gorgeous, and so well preserved, it feels like you're stepping right back in time. The towers and the buildings are striking, even many of the restaurants have medieval looking menus with scripts and fonts that look like they're right out of medieval times. But like I've always said, if there's one thing that can really make you feel like you're in long ago Europe, it's a McDonald's restaurant. I'll have one fair maiden and a McNuggets meal please. Coming through Viru Gate, you enter Viru Street. Off in the distance, you see the spire of the town hall. Whoopsie! Somebody's got slippery hands back there. If you're looking for a good place to eat in the old town, in terms of food and ambience, I recommend the Old Hansa, seen here. They still cook with 700 year old recipes and provide entertainment such as musicians playing pieces from the 15th century. The look and feel will definitely make you think you're in medieval Europe.
This is the main square of the old city, and this is City Hall. This is a great view, but up ahead, there are several views that get quite a bit better. Just outside the old city walls, on the other side of the city from where we entered, is Tumpia Hill. This is the area with the best viewpoints of the old city. But it also has several noteworthy buildings worth checking out, starting with the Russian Orthodox Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Just across the street is Tumpia Castle. It has a long history with rulers and conquerors of Estonia. Today, it houses the Estonian Parliament. Tall Hermann is a tower of Tumpia Castle. It was built in three phases. First, in the 1300s, and finally in the early 1500s. The Estonian flag is raised at sunrise and lowered at sunset from it, while the Estonian national anthem plays during both. Now these next two viewpoints are just spectacular, a real highlight for me. I love some of the pictures I took up here on Tumpia Hill.
tai tämmösiä, että se on jotenkin rauhallinen, että tää on tämmösiä vanhoja. Tai niinku... Mm. Musta ois niin kuulas, että tommoset, missä on tommosia ikkunaita. Mm. Mut se oli aina, että kaikissa tarinoissa, lasten tarinoissa, se oli aina, että se köyhin asuu tuolla ylhäällä. Se on niinku, tietysti se on Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ja se on This area is called Tower Square, a beautiful area just outside the old city walls where you can see numerous defensive towers all at once. One thing you definitely notice in all of the Baltic countries is the Russian war in Ukraine is extremely unpopular, as you see here.
A lot of times with these old cities, it's fun just to wander down some of the side streets with no particular destination. night which is nice because the sun sets really late here but then back out early this morning Ugh. as usual in the morning there's not a crowd Very nice. as we come to the Viru gates beginning of the old city really a spectacular like stepping back in time. Now the weather was really nice yesterday but today the weather has gotten a lot colder and it's expected to rain. I enjoy walking along these old city walls so I thought I'd come by here earlier in the day when there's not a crowd. They were saying it hasn't rained here in about a month, which is really rare, but of course, today it's supposed to rain. And the temperature has dropped quite a bit. In fact, it's already starting to sprinkle. So for the tower here. Telemani Tower. It's nice that they give you explanations in English as well. Built in the beginning of the 15th century. Uh, Dog on rain always has to follow me. many nice picture spots in the city but it seems like everywhere you go is another nice picture spot another good view
the birds here are clearly used to crowds of people because they don't run away. They're just chilling with you right there. Hey dude, how you doing? Not bad. They answer too. It's cold out here, dude. You some shelter somewhere? At this point, I'm definitely wishing I had brought a beanie and a hoodie. But I didn't think I would need it. It is summertime after all. One more look at a couple of my favorite viewpoints, this time on a cloudy day. Kiek in the cock, or peak in the kitchen in English, is the newest of the artillery towers built along this section of wall, dating from 1483. But it is the largest artillery tower, in fact, it is the largest medieval artillery tower in the Baltic states. This legendary battle-scarred tower is one of the symbols of Tallinn. You may be wondering, why would they name an artillery tower Peak in the Kitchen? It's because the occupants of the tower could see right into nearby houses and into people's kitchens. That's going to be it for me from the beautiful old city of Tallinn, Estonia. Next, I'll be taking a bus to Riga, Latvia. See you next time.